Lisa. Look at Hey guys, I'm too early to drop off Risa because it's only the third day. So I decided to come to see how long it takes to go to Waikiki and the aquarium and zoo and all that. And uh, it literally took minutes. Crazy how close everything is. Hey guys, I got a little excited this morning. Just added the layer of fiberglass to the bench. So I went to West Marine and I bought this three yard by 38 inch uh, fiberglass mat. And uh, what I did is I cut it on the spots where it would it would bend. This is not fiberglass, this is not fiberglass, which I'm gonna have to do this after. This whole piece right here is one big piece all the way up and over. I cut it here so it'll go inside. So that way the whole center is gonna be one big piece. It's not the prettiest job, but I'm already kind of tired. So I'm just trying to get it on there. Uh, I did get some bubbles, which I'm gonna have to like pop a hole on there so I can get some resin inside because it's one big piece, it'll stay together. So that's the bench. Now let me show you guys what I'm cooking for kind of brunch. I got some sausage and bacon, throw some zucchini and eggs in there and uh, a little side of avocado. So this is our outside kitchen for now until we get our new place. I guess being broke has its benefits. How's it going guys? I'm still working on the bench here. Uh, I just put some fiberglass at the bottom and I got kind of lazy. I was kind of irritated already because it was hot in the morning. The sun was right there hitting me right in the face. And so the uh, solvent was getting hard extra fast because it was so hot. Uh, so I made a bunch of mistakes. These are, these are bubbles. And so um, now that it's kind of cooled off a little bit, I got some energy back. Uh, I'm gonna take my time, sand all this stuff down, like a lot of these mistakes that I made. And tomorrow, hopefully I can do one more sanding, one more layer of resin to even it all out. Another sanding, and then uh, it'll be ready for paint. It's taking longer than I thought. I thought it was gonna take me one weekend. And the fact that my foot keeps getting swollen, it's taking a little longer, so it's okay. I'm almost done. I've also decided to cut these off just because uh, you know, it's gonna be troublesome with the fiberglass and also it's gonna be the weakest point. It should be strong enough that it's not gonna bend on me. Undisputed. Yeah, the red team won and Bia got first place. Enseñale. Yeah, first place. Fastest runner in the world. Yeah, yeah. Woo, woo. Y esta? 
Hey guys, so I haven't really done an update on my weights and on my injury. I've been mostly focusing on the bench. It's been taking up most of my time. Right now, as you see me, I'm at about 217 pounds. I weighed myself yesterday because I'm finally able to stand up. So at 217, that means I'm actually five pounds heavier than about a month ago when I weighed myself. Obviously, that's right after the injury where I really couldn't do too much. But with that bench, I haven't been cooking so much. And so we just kind of been ordering out or eating whatever is available. So there's been a few times where I, I eat non-keto friendly foods. Um, a good example was yesterday, I, I got some quesadillas for the girls. They didn't eat it, so I didn't want to go to waste, so I ate them. And so I gained five pounds. But anyways, I also wanted to document my feet. As you can see, it's kind of hard to see with a dark background. So this is the injured leg. You can tell because it's swollen. It's really thick on the ankle. Uh, that's because I've been standing half the day. My left quad is really big compared to my right one with the injured one and also my calf. So as you can see, my calf is also, uh, it's kind of skinny on my injured side. Obviously my injured leg hasn't gotten a lot of work. But one, I lost muscle and two, and probably the most annoying part is that I lost flexibility. So if I try to squat right now, this is literally the farthest I can go. That's it. <laughs> and so when I walk forward, because I, I can't really bend my ankle too much, I kind of have to walk sideways like this, which the physical therapist doesn't suggest I do. All right, let's put it in. So I'm trying to walk as straight as possible, but I'm limited on my range. So it doesn't hurt when I stand, but it does start hurting if I walk too much. Uh, especially right now, I don't have the boot. So the swelling kind of makes it uh, tender for the for when I touch the ground. Like the skin is really tender and it, it hurts a little bit. Um, I do feel pressure on my ankle, but it's not really from the break, I don't think. It's from the swelling and from the lack of flexibility. But yeah, that's me right now. It's the 8th of September. I'm hoping that because I'm walking now that in the next three weeks I can uh, recover enough so that I can start shooting so that I don't uh, miss the waiting season completely. At the same time I have to fix our new place. We're supposed to uh, close escrow in late September so immediately after we close I want to fix it up as much as possible so that uh, within a week or two we can move in. So that's the status for today. See you guys later. Good morning guys. It's Sunday and all day today I'm gonna focus on finish that thing up. I gotta make the holes right now. That's why it's uh, on the trike. Uh, then I gotta sand it all down, add some primer, smooth it out with some putty and then do a final paint. It's gonna take me all day just on the waiting time for the drying and all that. Uh, but it's really close to being done. Can you believe that that white part used to be just a poster paper? It's insane. It's pretty good though, right? All right guys, so here it is. Right now, uh, I just finished adding the primer. There's a few spots that look kind of weak or warped. So I added some Bondo to it. As soon as it's dry, I'm gonna sand it down and then do the final paint. Um, it's not perfect. Uh, you can still see the resin kind of dripping, but uh, I don't have the time or the energy to sand it all smooth. So I'm just going to have it uh, look kind of rough. Um, it's good enough. It's pretty solid. So as long as it doesn't uh, fall apart on me, I'm, uh, I'm satisfied with that. All right, guys. So here it is. It's done. I got the seat belts on there. I got the safety flag. I got a couple of... Uh, safety features uh, some of these uh, hooks to tie stuff with so I did have one major problem is that because I made the drop five inches then it barely misses that that uh, frame part right there so it actually causes too much weight to go onto the backside so I had to modify I had to like add like a little board to kind of keep the weight off of it 
thank you for watching guys remember i'm on a mission to retire early and travel the world with my family so on top of my weekly vlogs i'm also going to put videos on how i plan to generate money on the road how i save money how i become a minimalist and anything that helps me reach that goal of early retirement uh, if that's something that interests you please subscribe to this channel click right here to see the latest upload click here to see videos that relate to this video right here don't forget to hit the little bell so you can get notifications for whenever i upload new videos and also if you like this video please hit the like button thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.